This is an old random trinket that I, um, well, it's not screamingly old, it was uh, made in 1990. But uh, this, is according to the uh, nameplate, but this is a, um, it's a uh, sewing machine motor that I got out of a dead uh, sewing machine table. I'm dead because the uh, MDF top of it is like that, which is why I despise MDF and don't break that name. Um, but anyways, it's fairly interesting because of a couple features, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this this uh, video. Overall, it's a fairly typical, um, I think it's a TEFC uh, motor, totally enclosed fan cooled. Um, but it has a built-in clutch for the uh, drive pulley on the end. And by the way, do not attempt this. Rip your fingers off. Missling is not good. Um, if this were spinning, or even if you're just spinning up a motor just from its rotational inertia. But the pulley is actually braked by the clutch mechanism, so it will not turn um, when the clutch is not engaged. If you, and the clutch which is actuated by this lever on the top of the motor, even though this is upside down compared to how this would normally be mounted. If you pull up on the lever slightly, it will allow the uh, pulley to freewheel, and then you pull it as far as it'll go, it engages the clutch, and then the pulley will spin. And uh, that's one interesting thing about it. The other is that little receptacle on the back, but what there are is there's an auxiliary winding on the motor that's using it kind of as a transformer, and this receptacle is outputting six volts. And uh, in this case, I'm running a 17 watt 6.3 volt uh, R20 reflector lamp, which is a commercial sewing machine lamp. It is normally used in this application, although why they're calling it a sealed beam lamp, I have absolutely no idea, because this is demonstrably not a sealed beam. Um, just a typical R20 reflector lamp, except made for 6.3 volts and an oddball power rating for a main lamp, because it's not, of course. But, um, anyway, so yeah, that obviously works for those and it does seem to be a bit on the yellow side, of course, and again, my eyes are adapted to daylight because it's being filmed in daylight. And also, I think these lamps might be a bit oddball spec, and they're more like 6.5 volts to 7 volts, even though the mark is being 6.3, because I remember when I got these many years ago, I um, tested one on about 6 volts, and it was only, by my calculations at the time, using about 10 or 11 watts. So, yeah. But that's one interesting thing about it. And the receptacle that it plugs into, oh, well, can't, but um, it's also much, the, the um, blade slots are both about an eighth of an inch wider than a uh, typical um, NEMA 115 receptacle slots. NEMA 115 being our ungrounded 15 ampere receptacle. Maybe a chicken. But, um, uh, that would just be to prevent the plug that plug, the plugs into this from being plugged into a normal receptacle because if you hook one of these lamps up to 120 volts, it would explode. And because I only have a handful of these things and don't know if I could get more, I'm not going to do that. So yeah. But yeah, it's, it's the thing. I'm probably going to end up converting this into a, uh, this is going to be the supply, or the motor for a uh, small woodworking lathe that we've had for all the ages.